Hello everyone, my name is Kichigo and we're back with a new episode of 13 Sentinels Aegis Realm. We're going to go ahead and continue with Aiseki Gahara's story. Um, and we're going to try to get these two branches. So I'm going to try to go for looking for Nasumi. I mean, Nasuno Minami. So let's get started. Okay. Uh-huh. Android DD426 Oral NM Medical Records Ryoko, I wonder how she's doing. Medical Records Medical Records She here on one. She seems to have a not soon out. Okay, so that's where we have to find a gun from the up. Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information. And he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> Just don't bring out your phaser from the, the police officer. Is he here? Oh. He's not even here. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and Natsuno. look for Nasumi. Nasuno Minami. I don't trust him, but for now I have to cooperate. It's my only shot at recovering my memories. Tomorrow, once classes are over, I'll pay a visit to the school. End of class. Nasa no. Hey, Iori. Oh, hey, Nachan. What are you up to? Just oh, for so you had a bandage on you her cheek. On that must be from when she, no. oops, from when someone she else? got oh, shot okay. by well, Tamao Android. Okay, see you. Okay. What? Hey, Akun. Were you waiting for me? Mhm. Mm I was hoping you'd show up. Is everything okay? <sighs> I was trying to speak to Nasuno, but it didn't let me speak. Memories. I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your... I your friend? Lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Yes, of course. Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help. But I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. Because these timelines are confusion. confusing. Your memories? How did you find me? Easy. Medical records. Your student ID helped me track you down. Yeah, and oh, that. Right. No memories, huh? Does that mean he doesn't remember my confession? I don't ever remember your confession. Is there anything you do remember? No, unfortunately. Okay, so let's... I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. 
And when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Hmm. Maybe. I want to see if she knows something about this cryptid note. Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Wait, hold on. Hey, Mila. Supposed to be looking at the note, girl. So did you get to first? Huh? No, you didn't go to second, did you? Already, Yuri chan you move fast. I forgot what the bases are, to be perfectly honest. Sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa chan Well, anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this. I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. Oh, you do? You know what these numbers mean? Y yes, I think so. Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Message oh, service? Where you can leave messages over the phone? Voicemail? <laughs> My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. You guys don't uh, have voicemail? Why don't Wait, I get out of it's your 1985. Mm, you got this, you maybe. Wait, Niwa chan! A message service, huh? It's basically. Medical records of three an outdated. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsunomi Nami? Nachan? Yeah, her. Yeah, she was just here. Yeah, I saw her. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. Mm hmm. <sighs> oh, because he that didn't girl, know Jim that was Natsuno. She's probably gone by now. Way gone. Do you know Nachan? No, not at all. At least I don't think I know her. Hey, Megumi! <sighs> ah! Later for you, oh, Judo! See you later. Judo! That's Juro Izumi. Well, could I be? Yakushiji. Something's going on between those two. He's the one receiving nano machine treatment. Yep. And she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. Yep. She's definitely up to something. Probably. Oh, you have no more words. Well, um, yeah, follow them. Hey, Akun, where are you going? I'm following those two. So there's something I need to do. Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. Don't get shot. Could I be house? So you it just let yourself Kurabe in. On the name plate. <gasps> that photo looks so together. good. The table's set for three. Ah. Uh. So we meet again. Hello. Strange girl. It's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Now tell me. You said that I asked you to shoot me. Explain you yourself. That? That's just what I was told. 
Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! Hey, Judo. You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. At least he didn't pull the uh, trigger accidentally. Let's speak to Judo Izumi because he thinks that he only knows him as Judo Izumi, which is why it's not Kurabe. Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. True. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. I did. We did? This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. My name is Kurabe. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. Well, that happened. Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. It's a stun gun. I still for stunning. Want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. Okay. Hey, Fluffy. No, seriously, who is Fluffy? No way. You are not a talking cat. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? That's just a sure game? Am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? Well, if this is all a, a simulated Earth, you could think of it as a game. If you can always reset to an earlier time or keep on reliving events over and over again. The gun she aimed at you is a nano machine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? No, I don't. You Explain. Can ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. It must be Miura. Bastard. Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miura Kun. Ow. Sekigahara? Miura? You remember him? Did you say. Miura? Flashback 2064. Is Tamo Tomato? <sighs> Wait, I am on the right track. Okay, it's only one branch. Just making sure. <sighs> oh, uh, hello again. Hello. Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomosan. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. I'm afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. What was that about? Channel number seven AI. Hey, Miura. 
I saw Tamao Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. But I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. So is she already an android? I did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Wait, so did we, did they turn, did Shikishima turn Yoda into an artificial, well, use his, save his consciousness and nano machines and turn that consciousness into AI? Listen, Sekigahara, I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. All right. Raise. That's good. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. <laughs> Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. Mm. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? How to this guy? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess... We were constantly hearing Morimura. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So Moody there's death. nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. I wonder if that's why and Yoda that costs, has that scar on his forehead. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It what a virus. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. Mochiron. Mm. To be continued. We're 71% done. Love and friendship. Meta chips attained 2600. Mystery files up updated 4. Event archives attained 3. Oh. It's locked. So after chasing Megami, Yaku Siji's tail, A. Sekigahara ended up encountering Kitaro Miura. As soon as he heard the name Miura, Sekigahara remember the promise he made to the AI of Sentinel number 17. 
Whoa, wait a minute. Everyone's locked. Oh, what's up him? Okay. Let me just make it sh make sure. So I can't go back to him until I do another one of Natsuno Minamis. And I have to do some destruction levels. Yeah, destruction. Destruction. But I can do his. So unlock condition protagonist with story progress at 30% or over. So yeah. So he had a lot of branches. So I wonder what would be different this time. Because I don't even see any... LS's daily life or something. Maybe it would be daily life. Anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. You can now resume Judo Kurabe's story. I think after this, if there's no other ones that unlock, I'm going to go ahead and do some destruction levels. So anyway, Judo Kurabe... Kurabe accidentally heard a conversation between Megumi, Yakusiji, and Renya Goto. He's troubled by the fact that there's another version of himself that goes by the name Judo Izumi. Okay. After school. So wait, we do this again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That one video. So you can at least do this one. That one video. Anyway. So I tried out in my dream. Minami san. That dream in that movie. That movie's a hit. Come to think of it. Hey Juro. Hi. Let's go home. Yeah. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. Let's go. They are leaving. I can't even pick up my bag yet. Don't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's place? You didn't bring it up today. Didn't he say something well, suspicious? Game, so. During yeah, the first episode? Where do you want to go? Did you just want to go to Amiguchi's as usual? I'm fine with whatever. I actually want to do that one video. Do you think that one video is still available for rent? Probably. Want to go check? Yeah. Check the video store. Okay, cool. Don't forget your bag. All right. Hopefully, no one's checked it out yet. No. Look, that was him. Okay, bag. Head home. Stores closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. Oh, part of that big gas explosion. That's oh, unfortunate. I saw that on TV. That was our video store. So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? We don't have much of a choice. Oh, Mirakun. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Are we following me, dude. Hold on, I'm trying to consider something. There was a gas leak in the shopping district. The explosion damaged buildings and shattered windows. I heard about it on the 7 a.m. news. Mm. 
Okay. Now I can talk to you. Is something wrong? Tell me the truth, please. You don't need to play innocent. I bet it has to do with my last name, Izumi, or original name, Izumi. You are a sentinel pilot. Oh. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? It just happened the other day, right here. Uh, what, what happened? happened? Is that what destroyed the video store? You mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but... That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. You transmitted your sentinel right over there. Transmitted? You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it. That did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. Jurokun. You order is like, dude, stop acting Who stupid. Are you talking to? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, is... Are you not a real person? Uh, that's right. I haven't introduced you two yet. Or maybe he just doesn't know them. Kyuta Shiba. My classmates. His name is Kyuta Shiba. <sighs> Where is he? Ah, uh -huh. Shibakun? He's right next to us. Is he not a real person? Sorry, but it's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mirakun. Is that your imaginary friend? Wait. I think this has happened before. <sighs> has anyone else questioned him not being there? So, did you check out that video I lent you? Yep. Watch the whole thing. I forgot to bring the tape back, though. No rush, man. But you gotta tell me what you thought. Well, in the end, the criminal took over the main guy's body. So I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh, yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. Hey, um, why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? Because who is playing the video games at Shu's house? I'm not talking to myself. Then who are you talking to? I'm talking to Kyuta Shiba. I was talking to Shiba-kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? There's no one with that name in our class. Huh? Well, isn't this a uh, weird situation? Hmm. Me, Wako? You don't think hey, I'm crazy? I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen. Kisaragi-san's acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shiba-kun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? He's standing right there. Um, Kurabi-kun... There's no one named Shiba here. <sighs> what are you talking about? Are you okay? Hey, anyone in our class not know my friend's name? This is weird. Say something, Shibakun. They're being so mean. Is this some kind of prank, or are you talking to ghosts? Either way, it's not funny. Me, a ghost? These girls need a better sense of humor. Let's go. Shibakun. This is weird. I can't get my bag. 
What's your deal? Let's get going already. Hey, um. Because Shu never mentioned we anything grew up like together, right? Who's playing video games? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. Unless he protects the memory That's or odd. something. The nano machine. About grade school, I don't remember him at all. I can't remember any times in middle school either. <sighs> You're taking their joke way too seriously. It is strange, though. Shibakun, you said you've been with me all this time, but. I can't seem to remember the details. I don't have any memories of our time together. Why do you think that is? Your memories are all messed up anyway, Judo. Figure it out. What do you mean? Guess I overdid it with the mind hacking lately. <clears throat> Let's not overthink this, okay? See? He's evil. Here. Take this tape with you. It's your next set of memories. Go home and watch it carefully. <sighs> what is okay. going on? Because he did the same sort of thing when Wait. the Sentinel Calm was down. summoned. I remember now. He's... Shibakun is... <gasps> I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful, I blow my cover. Who is he, though? Who are you? Exactly. Artificial personality. 48Q. Codename QTA CBA. In other words, Qta Shiba. Oh! I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Yuta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. Oh, They're wow. They're all around in there, aren't they? But don't worry. Leave things to me and you'll be just fine. Transplanted memories? Yep. And Miyota is just probably just like... Calm yourself. There's this no is one a here. one... Side of conversation right going on. In front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were Shiba Kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. Oh. You're not gonna remember this anyway. So chill out, unless you want to look like a crazy person. So Izumi's right, friend. actual personality is coming you. is coming through. Just forget about the world for a bit. And maybe he wants Watch his this. memories to completely take over Kurabe. And just no. just so Izumi Stop. is there only. Shokun. That tape is floating. Oh wow. Okay. So we got the forty eight Q ending meta trips obtained 2650 mystery files updated two event archives obtained three wow i was not expecting that whatsoever okay so judo kurabe gets questioned by keitaro miyura the other lodger it turns out that he's unable to see kurabe's friend kyuta shiba Alrighty then so what do we have to do to get these other endings? Mm -hmm. Now that we, well, we're not going to remember that, that situation. Shibakun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. Mm, that's what I was thinking. So, let I tried asking. In my dream, Minami-san's... That dream was... 
Fuyusaka-san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumis. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Now he's frowning. He's like, I don't want to talk to you no more. Let me guess. You're meeting up at the same place again? Pretty much, yeah. Look at the frown on his face. Bye. I guess it's about that time. I noticed that Iori hasn't been here though. What was she doing at this time? Uh... Yeah, Judo is like upset. Look at that face. What? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. So it wasn't fully wiped. Nope. Damn. I guess mind hacking has its limits. So let's go ahead and discuss Judo Izumi then. Why did you do this? Why did you give me Juro Izumi's memories? Are you trying to turn me back into him? Don't worry about it. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. And then let's just, uh, discuss Kyuta Shiba. What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA, CBA. I already told you, I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Then why don't you watch this video and relax? I'm not watching no more of your not videos. You know, yes. We can't have you causing a scene here. I'm Your gonna cause one. To be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. No. No. Let's go back. Get it. Sad face. No. Out. Enter hallway. Help. I'm being chased by it. Hey, watch it. Hi. She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yeah, Probably Tommy. Tommy. Sure am. Tommy Kisaragi. Yeah. Got a clue where she went? Nope. Uh, can't expect you to know. I'm dealing with my own personal issues. Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? She did go into that contract with Fluffy with the expectation that he would help her get Judo Izumi back. So I wonder if this is Fluffy's way of doing that. No. Running won't change a thing. Oh, oh but I want to. Think. Ooh. Judo Izumi. Well, I can't do these two anyway. Uh Okay, so it looks like I can only do the Judo Izumi one. Think who might know something about this? Okino? Fuyasaka-san's absent. What about Yakushiji? Shinonome senpai. She knows about Juro Izumi for sure. Yeah. I should go talk to her. Hopefully she's at the nurse's office. Did you just make the decision for me?
Oh, she definitely is here. There's no papers on the desk. She know me, senpai? I have a question Please, for you. Okay, the. <sighs> I have an issue. Please help. No. Don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. <sighs> what happened? A strange person is in my brain. It's Shibakun. He's been messing with my memories. Who? And replacing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi kuns? That's odd. According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. Miss Morimura, our teacher. Maybe what he saved a backup this? memory thingy. Oh, I'm talking about Shibakun. Like Okino did. Who is Shibakun? Q Tashiba. He called himself Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. You must Am know. I going to disappear? Well, if Izumi kun's memories were transplanted into you, does that mean you know about his past? I saw it all in the form of dreams and movies. What happened in them? What memories do you have of his? What were your dreams like? Shootout and terrible dreams. So let's talk about the shootout dream. In order to prevent the apocalypse, Fuyusaka-san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? Yep. This is all news to me. Want to know more? The city was in ruins. I went around killing students one by one. I wouldn't let any of them get away. Sounds like you went crazy. Among the dead, I saw people I knew. Like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. Izumi-kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. And then, visitor from another world. I forgot to mention. Shibakun gives me memories on videotape. Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? Uh, let's go ahead and recall it now. If I recall correctly. We were in a big UFO. <sighs> I made it back. How did it look, Jiro? Hey, Okin Okino. Not good. He must have did it. Right he must have invasion. made a copy of Izumi's memories. I don't think the world had much of a chance. The year was 1985. Is that a flyer from a movie theater? Logs indicated shutdown sometime in the Heisei era. But at the time I visited, it was right there in Tsutsuji Ward. So Sector 4 is in 1985, and Sector 3 is in 2025. That's another 40-year gap. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods, all of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? To destroy our future. I have no idea. What do you think, Sukasa-kun? We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. If that's the case, it's inconsistent with history as we know it. You're right. It 
was just last year that we were invaded. The year 2104. That was the first and only time. If there were a kaiju attack prior to that, we would have known about it. We must be dealing with a time paradox. Maybe something weird happened when they arrived. It could have caused reality to split into parallel universes. Hmm, probably that. that kaiju technology allows for time travel. It's not hard to believe that would impact the future in some way. Hold on. While this device does appear to be a time machine, it may be premature to make such assumptions. Oh. An earthquake. A big one. Something feels weird about it. Sounds like kaiju to me. This is bad. What's wrong? The countdown. Oh, it's reached zero. The countdown. Don't tell me. The shaking is. It's time. The UFO is about to take off. Look at this. Yeah, her name is Chihiro right now. This time. We're rapidly losing contact with zones of the UFO. The very Earth's crust is crumbling. This is an unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Well, this is the first time I actually had to move the is conversation. Into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. We must seek refuge in the past. What? How far back are you going in the past? Get in the transmitter. Get serious? in the chopper. If we do that, we might not ever come back. And if we stay here, we die. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. If you're setting our destination coordinates, let me suggest Sumire Bridge. Okay. Amidst the destruction I saw earlier, that bridge was still standing. You heard him. Let's get in. Okinokun. Did I click something that made it not be auto scroll? Is something wrong? It's not letting me select any sec. Hold on. It should be on auto. Auto events. How did it? I must have pressed R2 accidentally. I don't understand. My commands aren't working. I need to find a time it'll let us travel to. Stay in the device. Okay. Just hurry, okay? I've got it. Sector zero. I don't know what year that is. Is that 1944? Because right I think it's 1944, 1945, 1985, 1920, I mean 2025, 2104, five sectors. Ooh, that's zero 2089? Oh, okay. Chihiro. This is also very beautiful as well. I'm leaving. I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. Across the river. It hasn't been redeveloped yet. No wonder Century Tower isn't there. Where are the flying cars at? 
It'll be over ten years from now before it goes up again. There's no point in waiting any longer. Let's go. Sukasa kun isn't coming back. Oh, he's coming back. Look, even the Shikishima State Building is missing. We have to go. Do you plan Darn, on staying dude. here forever? We can't just leave him. You agree with me, right? Mm. In this era, you and I are still newborns. Even your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Our citizen ID won't be valid here either. We can't purchase anything or use public services. Yeah, that's what it's up. look familiar. But this is the world of 16 years ago. To us, it might as well be a foreign country. But we can't go back. We have no choice but to figure something out. What are we going to do? The invasion's going to happen again Doshio. in 15 years. We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't... <sighs> we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. It has to be us. Let's figure out how to get back to the UFO. It should still be buried underground. If we can find it, then... I get it now. Mm-hmm. We can save Okino-kun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that, we need to make it through today. Yes. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. You're right. Shall we? Let's go. Ikoze. Iko. From there, the two of us spent the next few years together, living in society's shadows. Huh. The Elko is just like, dude, what the what are you talking about? That guy in my dream. He called himself Sukasa Okino. We got a keyword. Like somewhere before. That we can use for the next branch. Stay away from me. She does not trust you. That incident you just described. It's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been him. Who? The personality? Okino? He's gone back in time over and over again. Hey, Sakigahara? That's crazy. It must be Okino. The memories you've been seeing are his. But his name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No, it's a different Juro Izumi. A parallel dimension? One who came from a lost world. Okay. So parallel Stay world, back. most likely. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. So that means my dreams are memories of a lost world. A lost world that's Shikoku. probably been destroyed Is already. That world's Juro Izumi. That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. His consciousness. <laughs> Oh my. Looks Hi. like Sakurai isn't feeling so good. Shibakuna. Man, you've sure got a big mouth. Stop this. Oh, come on. Ryoko Shinonome is a freaking weirdo. If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences. Oh. Oh. Up my head, a new appeal. Help to be continued. Who are you? 77% done. Metal chips obtained 2700. Event archives obtained four. Alrighty then. Okay, so he's now locked again. 
So Judo Karabe went to Ryoko Shinonome for help and discovered the truth about Kyoto, Kyuta Shiba. The confession sends Karabe's consciousness further into darkness. Look at how many branches we have. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and save. Alright, so that's all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Whatever you want to do, enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.